Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a world-class athlete, a four-time undefeated boxing champ, the daughter of the late Muhammad Ali, and a mother of two. She's also the new host of OWN's DIY show, Homemade Simple with Layla Ali. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hand you one strip each of Dina's picture, and then you're gonna glue that to one side of that 90 degree angle of piece of wood. And Correct. then you're gonna go back and do Randall's photo yes. and put it on the opposite yes. side. Yes. And when you walk and you look that way, you see Randall, and you come and you look this way, you yes. see Dina. Exactly. Okay, got it. Please welcome the beautiful Layla Ali. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Bad. How are you doing? You just, 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 just bad. Shot. Thank you, Thank nice you for being here. Please have a seat. Thank you. Yes, welcome to the show. Thank you. How yes. are you doing? We are fabulous. Awesome. How are you? Fabulous as yeah. well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You are. You yes. are. We want to first show your little cute picture from last night, Halloween. We got a picture of your family. Oh, oh my babies. Your babies. And you were traveling, so you I missed was. it. It was my first Halloween that I wasn't there. <gasps> right. You know? And I see my daughter ended up with an outfit other than the one that, that she you, had planned. Right. That I ordered for her. That's right. Yes. That's yes. what happens yes. when dads are right. Right. You know, ha yeah. hair uncombed, but it's okay. It's fine. It's right. You call yeah. it daddy daughter hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Daddy daughter <laughs> hair. Well, mm -hmm. let's jump right into you. World class athlete. You've competed on so many high levels, what's it feel like to be an undefeated champ? It feels good. Yeah. I mean, anytime I think you work hard at your yeah. skill, you guys know how that is. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. to be able to reach that level, you know, that peak of, of being one of the best, mm -hmm. it's an amazing feeling. So. Or the best. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm happy just being one of. My yeah. father always said he was the best. That yeah. wasn't really my thing. <laughs> my thing is I want to be the best in my weight class. I right. want to be undefeated, and I want to be a world champion. And those things I attain, so call it what you want to. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, speaking of fathers, my, my dad's a singer, so I kind of understand that whole father mm -hmm. footstep thing. Mm -hmm. How did that... How how was that for you navigating through your sport knowing that your father is the greatest? You know, yeah. at the end of the day, it just gave me a tremendous amount of confidence, mm -hmm. you know, because boxing was in my blood, it was in my DNA, and yeah. I felt like everything is written I'm the way that it's supposed on, to be. Really? And I was like, I can't do nothing but win. <laughs> right. so that's, like, that's just the way I felt about it. So, um, and then I had to do the hard work that it took yeah. to be able to, to gain the skills as well, because confidence ain't going to get everything for you. I know yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, what's the, what's the biggest lesson that he taught you? Well, one of the biggest lessons that my father taught all of us, because you know, I, there's nine of us, mm -hmm. nine kids, is um, never to step on others, you know, to, oh. get, to try to get ahead, because mm -hmm. people do that a lot. Um, they have to put other people down, they have to, you know, make them, other people look bad in order yeah. to make yourself look good. It happens in all sorts of ways. Mm -hmm. So my father always wanted us to just have good character mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and uplift, uplift other people around you on right. your way up. Absolutely. Right, so. right, mm -hmm. right. What about uh, as a parent? How did he influence you as a parent? You know, my father was the most loving man. You know, he loved all children, not just his children. Mm, I just yeah, my yeah. father <laughs> kissing babies in airports. And I'm like, God, Lee, giving all the love away. No. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, but it taught me, it, he made me want to be more home with my children. Yeah. I wanted to, because my father, you know, was so busy giving back to the world that a lot mm -hmm. of times we had to suffer as his children. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want that for mine. Yep. But yeah, but also giving them unconditional love just like my father did. Right. Us, so. Can mm -hmm. I tell you really quickly before you ask your question, Selena, I want to tell you that I am named after Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. My middle name is Ali. My daddy was a golden glove boxer. Oh, wow. And he was enamored of your father. So whether I was going to be a boy or a girl, it was going to be Rashawn Ali. Oh, yeah, cool. so like that's it. my name. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, come on, come on, Rashawn Ali. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. People always ask if we're related. I'm like, no, but oh, I'm named God. after her dad. Supposedly, yeah. Tatiana Ali's my sister too. Right, but she's right, not. exactly. She's not. She's Anybody right. thinks she is? No, it's not my sister. Right. <laughs> no, kind of. Right. Kind of look favorite. We look like we could be. Okay. Right. Nice girl, but right. she's not my sister. I know that's right. <laughs> Gotta claim. So one yours. of the things I love about you is your passion for fitness. Oh yes. I just love that about you because you're tall. Mm-hmm. You're fit, obviously, and have been fit, but have you ever struggled with um, your physique? You know what I'm yeah, saying? In I'm any a, kind of way? Yeah, I'm a big girl. I mean, I Me too, am. Child. Yeah, I'm 5'11. <laughs> I weigh 200 pounds right now. Uh Hello? 200 pounds, yeah. yes. Yeah, so but, I can't, you, you but look. The only thing I've struggled with, though, is my side, the feet. I got a size 12 foot. I'm 11. It doesn't See, look like it. It's proportionate like it. to well, your body. No, but it's though, hard ladies. to find shoes. It's, it's hard very to hard shoes. to find shoes. Yeah, but fitness for me is a passion and it's a priority. Yes. And I'm, you know, normally I'm like 185, but I was shooting this show and wasn't able to work out, was eating on set. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not worried about it because I know now that I'm back in the groove of things, I can get 
consistent yes. with my workout. So yeah. mm -hmm. it's just, you know, you got to make fitness a priority. And yep. being that we have so many issues with African, uh, yes. African American community with high blood pressure and, and obesity diabetes. and diabetes, mm -hmm. all because of our lifestyle choices and yeah. the way that we eat yeah. and the way that Speak. we don't, we, you know, so I have a passion for trying to encourage other people to take control of their health because mm -hmm. we can. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. You've been able to create this amazing life outside of the world of sports. And now with your new show, talk about the evolution of Layla Ali. Oh my God, it's been, it's been an evolution, just yeah. like you said. You know, I've, I've reinvented myself many a times, but from the very beginning, I've always just done what I wanted to do, what mm -hmm. my heart desired, yes. and I'm a hard worker. Yeah. You know, when I set out to do something, I'm prepared to do the many hours of preparation that happens behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So I went from boxing into fitness, health, and wellness, and now, of course, with a TV platform, as you ladies know, that's very important when you're trying to spread a message. So I take all that stuff really seriously, and I yeah. try to do my best in anything that I do. I you're doing it. Yes, you, you are. Yes. You are. So when we come back, you're going to put us to the test, a little DIY with some orchids. I got some something easy. Something, something easy. Girl. A little simple, piece simple, of orchid. Simple, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> She's going to help us out with a little DIY. Coming it's all back. good. We got this. We got it. The lovely Layla Ali is here on Sister Circle Live. She'll be back. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We have moved from the couch into the kitchen and are joined by the amazing Layla yes. Ali. She's gonna, and down to the circle, child, we love a good DIY project. Oh, good, yes. good. So <laughs> what are you going to show us today? All right, we're going to do something very simple Very here. simple. Now, okay, I don't good. know about you, but I love fresh flowers. I right? do, too. But they yes. don't always last. They don't. So right. an orchid is a great option to use in your home. I gotcha. Where you'll have beautiful, fresh yeah. flowers. Okay. Right? But you want to make them look custom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, and make them look nice. So right. you can simply arrange them in a uh, pot like so. Okay. Right. Right. Or, you know, something to hold them that matches mm -hmm. your decor. Okay, let's and then, move this yeah, move this over for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. There we go. And I'm just, I know we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. So I'm going to show you simply how to do this. So you pretty much are just going to put these river rocks in to hold everything in place. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then we're just going to fill it up with some moss. Let That's easy. Yeah. That's too sharp. That's too. very well, you nice know, and easy. A lot of people are afraid of orchids, though. Because, I know. Yeah, they feel like they're hard to keep them alive. Right. But if you just put an ice cube in mm -hmm. here, maybe once a week, mm -hmm. they'll be beautiful and they okay. last for like three or four you, months. Like you went down to the Pier 1 and got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but it's going <laughs> to so but it's gonna add life right. and beauty mm -hmm. into your home. Right. You know, so. So you're in your seventh season of your show, Homemade Simple Congratulations. with Congratulations. On OWN. How did that all come about? Did Oprah, like... Heck, you would say, I need you to do a show. How did that I would like to think that she did. Right. She's like, right. I'm going to call Layla Ali. <laughs> right, because right. the show has been on for many seasons, but I'm the new host. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. they're going to be changing the show from half an hour gotcha, to an gotcha, hour. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And we're going to get more into the backstories of people and, and you know, bring out the human interest side of the Got story. It. I'm going to be cooking with each family, mm -hmm. healthy meals for their family. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah, and I like that about the show, the fact that it's not just about DIY projects, but it's also about the stories, the backstories of these people. I think yeah. that's really, really exactly. awesome. Exactly. We have some really amazing people on. It might be, for example, single, a single mother who's mm -hmm. raised many kids and you know, her husband's just passed away and she needs a sanctuary in her room, but mm -hmm. she hasn't been able to decorate it because a mm -hmm. lot of times master bedroom is a, the last room that yeah. you do. Yeah. So we'll come in. I'll come with, in with a designer and a handyman and we'll give her a dream space. Good. You know, and, Good. and then, of course, I teach her healthy recipes to share with her family as well. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. Well, Thank you. Layla, we are just honored to have had you yes. here. Um, thank you so much for being with us today. Homemade Simple with Layla Ali premieres this Saturday at 9 a.m. Yes. Yes. We got the good people right. together. All right. All good. Yes. The conversation <laughs> continues online at Sister Circle TV on all social platforms. Layla Ali, everybody.